everyone, welcome back. Um, today we're going to be looking at the latest Avengers Endgame set. This is Iron Man's Hall of Armour. And uh, yes, there she is, laid out in all its glory. Um, it's not a bad looking set. Most of the figures are okay. Um, we'll, get, we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, yes, well, here we go. As my personal opinion, it is late as anything. Um, me personally, it should have probably come out round about after Iron Man 3 because it would probably make a bit more sense. Um, because obviously as the, the time of this recording, I haven't seen Endgame, so this might play a part of it. I don't know. Um, but anyway, let's get into the main build. We'll look at the all the minifigures in just a minute. We'll go through the main build. Okay, first of all, we get to this bit here first of all. Everything that you see here comes apart really easily. So this bit here, we start on here. So it's just held on there with a Technic pin just on the front there. And obviously it's supposed to show off his holographic um, computer. Um, don't know if you can just about see them. They're not particularly good to be honest. I think they could have been a little bit thicker on the old printing. Um, but no, you know, it's, yeah, it's, it's the thought that counts. So you got the, maybe we could just about see there. So you got the block caller, which will be Agent Coulson. Then we got, uh, Intruder Alert on that one there. Um, and then what else we got on here? And then just a couple of, oh, just on these panels here, just a couple of random mumbo jumbo stuff. Comes with his cup and a little swivel chair. That's it for that bit there. You also get these two little fire fire things that you can just shove anywhere. Um, also, right, so you get his uh, stand here. Um, well, obviously, you can um, start from the first Iron Man, I think it was, that wasn't it, where obviously the robotic arms come down, moved quite, quite well, got very good range of motion. And on the ball joint, so you can move them. Any kind, any kind of decoration, uh, decoration, direction you want, and that also swings there as well. Yeah, it's pretty good, pretty good. Not a bad little build. And we come on to the main bit here. Okay, so so up top you get the satellite dish um, or a, a reconnaissance dish. You can only move it like that, and there's nowhere else that you can you know, do a beacon on it. But you can, it's, you'll stand on its own pretty well. It can go anywhere you can go anywhere up top here left to right all the way down you know that that's it basically a little stark satellite dish and then here you at this uh, at this one here's the only one at the end here that's got a ladder there and nothing at that end um so each this is the probably the best part about it is you could buy loads and loads of these sets and you can take them all apart there we go. And you can just scatter them around no matter where. You can pile them on top of each other like that. Oh, I've just broken it. Clever me. There we go. You could just keep piling them up like that. You can go as high as you want. And it works pretty well. You know, you could just keep going up and up and up. Being that they're on the, uh, on the old uh, swivel clips, you can just have it any kind of position, position you want. But let's have a little look on it. Some of them have got um, stickers that go on it. Translucent, translucent, translucent. Oh, clear back stickers. <laughs> go with that. Um, so this is the first one. And now where you can see I try and position the light a bit better. There we go. So this is the first one. So this is the house party protocol. Um, yeah, these stickers are an absolute pain to put on, as you can see. I've tried, yeah, I tried putting it on without any kind of um, air bubbles behind it or any kind of marks, but they're just an absolute pain. Um, but you know, well, I understand where they're going for on it. This uh, on this, and uh, yeah, it, you know, it works. It works all right. It works okay. And then on this one here, let's just pull this one off here. There we go. Give me that. So there we go. We've got the Mark 25, uh, the Striker. Um, and well, you can see it, you know, so obviously he's got his uh, battering arms there. 
and then that if I just remove that the front there that's just what it looks like from the front just trying to catch it just right it's not easy with these uh, but again yeah it's not bad not bad stickers let's put that one there and then the final one is the mark V, the suitcase armor which is the one if I'm not mistaken from Iron Man 2 um, again not bad not a bad print um, yeah, that's it. I mean, as you can see, there's no no actual writing on there. It's just just load of mumbo jumbo on there. Obviously, the case of um, having it like that, so you can see it through both sides. You now, obviously, they don't line up at all. So if I turn it round, yeah, they don't line up at all. Um, if we get it in certain positions, there you go. So if you look at it a bit downwards, it does look like it's on there. But looking at it straight on. It doesn't line up, but you know, I mean, when you're looking at it, so if you have a minifigure on there, as you can see, you can barely, barely, barely see it, barely see it. But you know, you can have it no matter which way. I mean, you could even take that off and you could put it another way, or you can come up with your own mock ideas and uh, make it look a little bit nicer. You could imagine, obviously, there's a lot of repetition building going on in this, um, but there are a few tweaks that it kind of goes along along here so here obviously you've got his um little smoothie maker and we'll go with that um uh, from a little callback there from iron man 2 um that one there's just a, pl a plain back one nothing on that one then the obviously for, for some weird reason iron man needs a rocket pack okay but yeah it comes with a rocket pack this one here doesn't yeah this one here doesn't detach from there um, and then obviously that one there's got the sticker on it. This one here just comes with a wrench, stud shooter, because they've got to add a stud shooter in for a reason. Can't explain why, because it's an Iron Man set, but like that, you could just take these off anyway. You could just take that off, get rid of that, get rid of that. You know, so if you have more, more Iron Men that you wanted to put on there, easy, easy to do, easy to do. And then here, because Tony, Tony Stark's got retractable, uh, detachable hair, so I'm going to put his hair. Or, obviously, if you want to swap it over, you can put his helmet on there. But that's that. That's that. Also, just a little side note. You can also have it round this way. Around. Um, and there is a Technic, technic slot hole there. You could just bosh it all in there. Yeah, and you can have the, the blue blue backing on that one. Just a little little fun fun fact. Fun, uh, a little fun tip. The minifigure we got is we get two Outriders. Uh, they're both identically the same. Uh, they both come with arms on it, on them. But this one here, I've just left them off, just so you can see the backing, the the back print on them. Pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, you know, plenty, pretty massable figures. You know, it's always nice to have have hold of. And then you get the Mark Fifty, which I can't imagine being that he'll be in the new Endgame set unless he's unless he's completely run out of ideas and um, gone back to these old suits again because um, I think in the other sets the other ones they've got the the gold arms on them so um, but yeah again good printing arms nice leg prints nice torso print as well nice back print on there as well only one face uh, face paint in there um, so that, there's obviously his one is uh, action ready one and there's his smug face one but no pretty good five this is the suitcase one or football one um, depends which way you want to call it um, nice, nice body print on there, and uh, nice length printing on there as well. Now, with the rest of the ones I'm going to show you, they don't have faces in them, so they just come with the clear faces. So obviously, you can just swap them, swap them all over, nice and easy, which I think is a pretty good idea, to be fair. And then this one here, you get the Mark Forty One, um, which I think is it the Stealth Armor. Tell me if I'm wrong in the in the description down below i think it is the stealth armor or the skeleton armor bones i think it's called um but i, I can't I, I can't remember damn my brain's gone dead today um so yeah again no face in there but again nice body print down to the feet as well like the rest of them and nice back printing on there as well um then the final minifigure is the one i've been looking forward to is the mark one yeah, just take a take a nice little look into that. It's got nice, nice body, uh, nice uh, printing all the way right around there. Also, if we just about see, so they put little rust marks all over it, all the way right down. 
Um, wrong face shape though, I am going to say that because I believe, is it the same mould? I think it is the same mould, isn't it? Um, so yeah, fa face doesn't come up on this. Um, and then nice attention to detail, Stark Industries obviously it was made out of a box of scraps, weren't it? Um, but no, that that is good, that is good. Oh, that's, that's a nice, nice addition to the whole thing that is. And then you, the last figure we get, Demi! And it does actually have little studs for wheels. How cool is that? And it does work. And uh, again, he's got nice range of motion. So, you know, you can move him up, down, you can move this around, fire and then the fire extinguisher. Obviously fully detractable. Um, yeah, no, that, that is just, it's just a nice, simple little build. Just, it's just great, just great. Comes with his little dummy hat as well. Yeah, brilliant. And you do get one other build, and you get this. And it's supposed to be the Mark 37 Igor set uh, armor. And as you can see in the picture, you can see the difference in everything. Um, I mean, obviously, it's supposed to be a mech as well. Um, and we're, we're let's get to the let's stick to the positives. Let's we we'll stick to the positives. So on this, it's got a good ram, range of motions, so the legs can be moved, toes can be moved. You know, so you can, yeah, just about get in the running position. Is it going to stay? Yeah. So you know you can get. Can I get it? So yeah. There you go. So you can get it to do. Numerous things. Let's move these out of the way. Um, yeah, you know, and you can, yeah, you know, plenty of movements. So you can get him to do the splits. Um, yeah, do whatever you want. Fingers move, which is quite nice. Um, but as you probably might have noticed, it is a bit hollow. You see, it's rather, rather hollow. Uh, but anyway, I'm trying, 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 trying to stick on the good points. Um, it's a fun little build. It is a fun little build, and it is nice to get this one. Um, but yeah, I'm really struggling. It's yeah, the face kind of detracts from everything, and being that's quite hollow as well. Um, let's get one of the get one of these. So you can, of course, put a, a figure in here because you you should be able to. You know, so you can you should be able to squeeze squeeze them in there. There you go. But as you can see, it doesn't really close up that well. But you know, it's it's you know, it's still pretty good. Pretty good. I I, I think the desi designer was obviously limited to obviously keeping the piece count down. You know, because I mean, obviously, something like this you really want to be, I think, a smaller version of the Hulk Buster because obviously this is the first generation of the. Of the whole buster really being that it's come from iron man 3 um but you know it's it's not bad it's not bad i've got I, I, i've got complaints about it but to be honest compared to the rest of the set it's pretty minute to be fair i'm not going to complain too much about it um yeah because obviously it's it acts like a it acts more than a figure you know it's uh it's just a little little big fig shall we say it is it's, it's bigger than a big fig um, but it's got more range, more range of motion than a little figure does, shall we say? So, nah, that's all right. It's okay. Well, there you go. That's the complete sets. Um, me personally, I would do away with these two. They give me two more Iron Men. That that's me. They, you know, I'm, I mean, yeah, the outright, you know, they might attack, tackle this and all this, that and the other. But they, we don't know that, and they could have just gone. You know what? Nah, we don't need that. Give us two more Iron Men. You know, give us the one that's actually in the other sets and you can give us another older one, you know. I mean, holy mow, I know I know um Tony blew up all his suits, but you know. <laughs> it's it's nice, you know, it's, I think it but yeah, you know, then again, it's nice, you know. I think it's a nice and plus you can buy more. So if you obviously if you've got loads of armor, so if you've got war machines armor and all that kind of stuff, you buy several of these sets and you can just keep piling them up and up and up and up and up. Obviously, it will dent your wallet in the process. But, I mean, you could quite easily just, you know, once you've got one, probably just buying the parts. And then you can just make 
make your one and just leave the clear backs out or add your own stickers to it you know whichever whichever way you want to do it but again it's it's a nice set i've got i've got no complaints to get it against it again it blah. Um, but anyway, yes, yeah, anyway, I'm detracting quite heavily there. Um, but anyway, that's my thought on the set anyway. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you do, give me a like, hit the thumbs up, big time, smash that uh, subscribe button and let other people know. Let me let other people know and let me know what you think of the review and I will see you later. Bye bye.